All right, I'm recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you Oop, with a little liggity vlog. And uh, today I'm at my parents' place here in Slyne, Ohio, so a slight change of scenery. And I uh, also got myself a new haircut, so uh, they kept the sides pretty short, so it's easy for me to wear hats. And I can style this up right now. I don't have any goop, so I can't, you know, do things with it. So it looks like I have a pineapple on my head. <laughs> But it's whatever, at least I can wear hats, and that's important for my job. So, anyway, um, I just wanted to make this vlog to talk about what 2016 meant for me um, as a person, YouTuber, all that stuff. So, 2016 was a very challenging year for me. One of the reasons was it was my first full year out of the U.S. Navy since I joined in 2010. And uh, it was very difficult because I'd gotten out in September 2015. But this was my first full year out. And so that presented a lot of challenges in just getting back into the civilian mindset again. And just kind of, you know, being your own motivator. Because, you know, in the military, you had other people telling you what to do and when to do it. Now it's just me. So <laughs> I'm all I've got as far as that goes. I just had to learn to, you know, pick myself up again. So. That was pretty challenging, and uh, I want to thank you guys for sticking with me during some of those uh, rough spots. I know I worried a lot of you guys in some of my vlogs because I got really badly depressed and was just wondering, like, I don't know if I can do this anymore. And uh, there was a lot of concerns from some people, and uh, I just want to say thanks for sticking with me through those rough spots. Not to say that there's not going to be any more rough spots because, hey, life, right? Yeah, hopefully 2017 will be a little bit smoother than 2016 since I have kind of uh, an idea of what I'm doing now. Um, 2016 was also my first year back in college since 2007, so <laughs> nearly a decade after I had left college the first time around. I'm now back, you know, no longer as a 20-something, but as a 30-something. So that presented its own challenges. And uh, I gotta say, getting back into that college mindset I think was the hardest for me just because I'd been out of the education environment for so long. Um, I'd just forgotten a lot of the study habits and the discipline needed to, okay, I gotta commit to doing homework at this time for this many hours or whatever the case may be, depending on what I had going on. You know, and I just had to, again, be self-motivating to do stuff like that. And it was kind of hard to, you know, do it all by myself. But, you know, eventually I got into a groove of things and, you know, I'm happy to say things are turning around for me. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, when I first started college at Western, you know, at the beginning of 2016, um, I was strapped with a major I wasn't really all that keen about, um, wasn't very good at it, and because of that my GPA suffered. Um, decided to switch to a major that I was very passionate about, filmmaking. Having done YouTube for over a decade now, it's just something that I'm really interested in and I'm hoping to, you know, maybe do something with it, you know, once I get out. Yeah, because it's doing something that I like, I'm actually pretty good at it, and my GPA is starting to turn around. Um, it is going to take some time because, like I said, you know, the previous major kind of... <laughs> through my GPA for a loop, so it's going to take some time to rebuild, basically. But I'm hoping for fall of 2017, or maybe late summerish, to transfer over to Wright State in Dayton, Ohio, so I can be uh, closer to friends and family. And also for a cheaper cost of living, because it's really expensive to live out in Michigan. Like, a lot of people don't really realize it, but it is pretty damn expensive living out in Michigan. So that's another reason why... I want to move back to Ohio. And plus, you know, being an in-state college, um, I get a lot more financial benefits and stuff like that, so that's nice. And uh, just stuff like that. So, can't wait for that. Um, it's not going to happen as soon as I originally expected, because initially I was going to transfer at the beginning of uh, summer of 2017. But uh, my GPA wasn't quite up to what I was expecting. Uh, at the end of this semester, and uh, it's probably going to have to wait for another semester or two before I can 
uh, build things back up again. So it is what it is, but uh, we're gonna move on. So yeah, that was uh, those were two main uh, challenging points for me in 2016. But moving on to 2017, I'm hoping to, like I said, get my GPA back up again. Um, definitely a lot, a lot more prepared for college. You know, leading into 2017 than I am, you know, when I first started in 2016. I think I'm definitely in the right mindset for it. And I realize that there are going to be roadblocks, you know, stumbling blocks, whatever you want to call them. And I think I'm a lot better equipped now to deal with those than I was when I first started. So, definitely going to be some challenges up ahead, but uh, a lot better prepared for them. So, can't wait for 2017. Woo. And uh, I also want to get into uh, more youtube -y stuff as well, because I realized 2016 was a really bad year for me, uh, YouTube-wise. There was a lot of good things that happened, but also, like I said, you know, stumbling blocks with college really affected a lot of things, including YouTube, because I'd focused more on college when I wasn't doing so good and less on YouTube. And now that, uh, you know, I'm starting to balance things out again, I want to focus a bit more on YouTube. Um, obviously, you know, college is number one priority, so I can't, you know, go full time with YouTube because, you know, not only do I have college, I also have a part time job. So that tends to uh, affect the amount of time that I can work on videos and stuff like that. But I do want to, you know, make videos and I want to do more with my channel. And, you know, since I got out of the Navy, one of my main concerns was, what do I talk about on YouTube? Because I've been in the Navy since 2010, and that's when my channel started to gain some traction because, you know, there wasn't a whole big, you know, vlogging scene for military members. You know, now it's starting to, I think, really come into its own with guys like JT Suits. What up, fam? <coughs> Sorry, throat's a little, a little sore still. Um, among others in the military community from other branches as well. Even though I'm not the Navy guy anymore, you know, I'm just a veteran now, um, I do want to still continue doing some Navy-related videos. You know, I really do enjoy the Life After Navy series. Um, I think it's definitely a more honest approach than my NFAC series was because there were some questions that I would get when I was doing NFAX and uh, I felt I really couldn't answer them properly because they involved like a negative aspect of the Navy and back when I was active duty that's something I really wanted to avoid online was you know talking in any way negatively about the company that I work for you know it's like the old saying goes don't shit where you eat so I didn't want to get myself in hot water with them so I tended to uh, avoid those types of questions, but now that I'm out, I feel like I can, you know, maybe tackle those questions a bit better, or maybe give a more good and bad um, approach to certain questions, whereas when I was active duty, I really couldn't do that. So that's not to say, you know, oh, the Navy's bad, and fuck the Navy, and don't join the Navy, it's stupid. You know, I gotta be honest, overall, Joining the Navy was one of the best decisions of my life. It helped me really get my shit together. You know, not only as a person, but also as a college student now, you know, I wouldn't have been able to come back to college had I not gone and joined the Navy because I just, I didn't have the money to get a college education. You know, now that I'm out, I'm on the GI Bill and I'm able to get my learn on and, uh, hopefully make something of myself uh, once it's all said and done. So, can't wait for that. And I uh, also want to do videos a bit more consistently than I did in 2016. I realized especially, you know, near the end of the year, it was starting to get pretty bad because I'd fallen into a bit of a, a bit of a depression, a bit of a funk with uh, everything really. And so it just kind of, you know, <laughs> put a damper on everything. And I'm hoping to make YouTube videos a bit more consistently. So, um, some things that I'm looking forward to doing in 2017, obviously more Life After Navy stuff. 
uh, some more vlogs when I can, when there's stuff to talk about, stuff to vlog about. You know, maybe getting out of the house a bit more once um, I'm a bit more financially stable. I'm still kind of getting there, but uh, I don't exactly have a whole lot of coin to go, you know, throwing around for random unboxings and stuff like that, at least on a consistent basis. Um, but I do want to get out and explore uh, Kalamazoo a bit more. And I think that's something that's really been missing in a lot of my videos is the outdoor stuff, you know, the life life and video stuff where I'd go and explore different interesting parts of uh, wherever I'm at. And I really miss doing those types of videos, but one of the things I noticed being back in America is that I'm a lot more self-conscious of myself talking to either a camera or a cell phone or whatever the case may be. And, you know, when I start to kind of get going, you know, I see somebody walk by and they kind of either look at me or whatever and it's just like, oh shit, you know, all right, better be quiet. <laughs> it's really weird. You know, even after all this time, I still get very self-conscious about it. Um, when I was in Japan, not so much, at least not around the Japanese people, because, you know, they didn't really give off that vibe of, what's that foreigner doing? You know, it was just a, oh, foreigner. And that was it. <laughs> but in America, you know, I don't want people like approaching me or you know, taking my shit away because, oh, look at that expensive camera, you know, where's your money? <laughs> Stuff like that. So I definitely want to avoid it. Uh, but I do want to do uh, do videos out and about in town. Um, but again, it depends on, you know, what I'm going for, stuff like that, how much money and time especially do I have to devote to those things. And, um, uh, now that my financial situation is getting to be a bit better, it's starting to starting to even out a little bit. Um, I'm hoping to do more outside -y things as well. Other things I'm looking forward to doing, in addition to the Life After Navy stuff and the vlogging when possible, um, is also uh, Adobe Tutorials. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been asking about that. If you guys want to know something about uh, either like Premiere or Audition, those are the main two programs that I use to edit videos. So if you want to know stuff about that, you know, leave me a little, little something something in the comments down below in the boobity boops. And, you know, who knows? Maybe your question will get answered in a how-to video. In addition to that, I also want to eventually do a very uh, focused, like, how-to, you know, use Adobe Premiere, use Adobe Audition for beginners, things like that. I just want to make, I want to make the, uh, the tutorials very focused. I don't want to go off on this long 20-plus minute video rant talking about a little specific thing on uh, Premiere or whatever. I want them to be very focused so they're gonna take a little bit more work to do than like your standard rambly ass vlog like you're doing with now. <laughs> so um, can't wait to start doing those but again gotta kinda feel out this semester a little bit see how much time I have and which classes are more of a you know, investment in as far as like homework and things like that. So uh, just kind of kind of feel it out and then start uh, start a schedule. So the plan with YouTube is uh, in 2016, for those who don't know, um, I switched channels to the one I'm on right now. This channel was originally my secondary channel and uh, where I just put up random stuff, usually, you know, copyrighted stuff that I couldn't deal with on my other channel just as kind of a miscellaneous whatever channel. But uh, I decided when I got out of the Navy that I was gonna lose a lot of subscribers anyway. And I also wanted to, uh, you know, start looking into other sources of income because I wasn't getting those nice Navy checks like I, like I did when I was in. So I wanted to look at other sources of income to just kind of help me out, you know, during my time in college, so. Um, looked into doing YouTube a bit more seriously, which is kind of funny looking back on it now. I decided to uh, switch over to this channel once my AdSense account got approved for it, trying to make this like my secondary source of income. So that's the goal leading into 2017, is to make this basically as my part-time job, quote-unquote. So the idea is to generate enough income on a consistent basis from this channel to where I don't have to work a another part-time job and I can focus on YouTube a bit more. So 
the main thing with YouTube is, you know, and I'm not doing this for money, you know, it's just, I love doing YouTube, but in order for me to really invest more into it, I need money to, you know, pay the bills, all that kind of stuff. You know, especially during months where the GI Bill isn't quite as strong with the BAH, so <laughs> um, it is what it is, but uh, I'm just hoping to be able to focus a bit more on YouTube, you know, still do the college thing and all that kind of stuff, and then by the time I get out of college, well, I can do YouTube a bit more seriously, and you know, I'll have enough of an income source to where I can... Uh, do YouTube or do whatever anywhere and I mean I think that's my one of my main goals is to have a uh, what they call them like flexible jobs or remote jobs commuter jobs whatever basically where you do all your work online or through like Skype or whatever the case may be I think that's something I definitely want to pursue uh, once I get out of school I think that would be a really fun career because I could be anywhere in the world as long as I get my work done so I think, you know, YouTube also plays a big part in that as well, in that I can be anywhere in the world, and so long as I upload videos, and can upload videos, stuff like that, then I'm good to go. Can't wait for 2017. A lot of things are in the mix. Um, it just looks to be a, a much better year than this one. This one was kind of the, uh, the very transition-y, transitionary year. A lot of big changes, but now that I'm a bit more established, um, 2017 should, in theory, be a lot smoother. So, with that said, this is the Andy San, signing off for now, thanking you guys poop, for tuning into this rambly ass vliggity vlog, and for watching my other stuff, and for sticking with me through all these changes, and being there when uh, I had my stumbling periods and stuff like that. And I look forward to seeing y'all in 2017. And I also want to thank you guys for liking the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, send a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, I'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye. See you in 2017. <laughs>